Hello, this is a prepaid call from an inmate at the Indiana Department of Corrections Newcastle Correctional Facility. To accept this call, press zero. To refuse this call, hang up or press one. To prevent calls from this facility, press nine. Your current balance is twenty seven dollars thirty eight cents. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Thank you for using GTL. I got twenty two years in prison for not using my brain. And every time I turn on the TV, I see my people doing the same. I caused a lot of heartache out there amongst my own people. Wake up, people. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Life is of choices, man. Make the right ones. Straight up. When Dre was shot, revenge wasn't really on my mind. It was just, is he okay? Because at the time, I was just told he got shot. I didn't figure out what was really going on until he we got to the hospital and I saw him in that room with the bandages around his head, and I was just like, oh man, please let Dre survive. And it's just like when you see the stuff is continuing to happen, the 13 year old killed the castle the mom, and are not all them kids. Mm -hmm. And there were parents telling their kid not to say a word. Mm -hmm. you know what? Yeah. Which happened in all of our cases, you can count on that. Mm -hmm. Not to say family. a word. And it's like, are you serious? This little boy was killed in front of his friends. Not to say not a word. To say a word. All these witnesses and nobody is arrested for that little boy's murder. Really, it's real simple. Experience life, go on this journey, and, and just do right by people. Because either way it go, you're going to cross that bridge of the person that you might have hurt uh, from the past, and you're going to eventually you might need to ask them for a job one day, or you might need help, you know, whatever it may be. That's why it's important to you know, just do right by people while you're in their presence. But yeah, it is uh, really like a domino effect. I know people that um, got killed tragically in these streets and they family went and did something to their family and it was like a never ending process, man. Like a lot of people lost their lives though, man. Like they didn't even have to, man, over something small, simple that could have been thought out, you feel me? Something minor as an item, you feel me? When people say they are a product of their environment, you are not. It's what you put into it is what you get. If you put in nothing, you will get nothing. If you put in something, you'll get something. There's no reason why your neighborhood or hood, as they call it, that you want to have allegiance to can't be better than what it is if you don't step up and do what you need to do. Yes, there was a time in my life where I, I had to have a forgiving heart. I was in an abusive relationship at a very young age, and this relationship really taught me a lot about myself and what things I can stand for and what things I will, how I will allow people to treat me and how I will allow myself to be treated. And so being in this relationship, I really had to take a step back and remove myself and say, okay, Lord, please let me rely on you. How can I get out of this situation? And because I was real with myself and honest with my situation, I was able to be removed. Authorities were alerted and my life and his life were spared and we're better people for it today. I had a lot of friends that was locked up. I was out there with them. But that intuition, the will of just knowing that there's something else out there for me, kept me away from all of that at the right time. You really just have to soul, do some soul searching and do the best that you can to get away from that type of environment. The ignorance in our community is so stupid, okay? Uh, some of the rap songs that they hear, the mental illness, it, 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 they don't understand what they're doing to a child's mind. And you got these young children killing each other. You know, so if, if the killer was caught, it wouldn't be a surprise to me if it was somebody the same age as, as he was. With kids, man, my kids changed my life, really. Like, that's my focus right now. So so me being the black business owner, you know what I mean? I'm going to do everything I got to do to stay out the way, man. Straight up. 
Proper preparation prevents poor performance, straight up. Dre, Dre's been progressing well. His, his level of fight is on a whole nother level. When it comes to the dude, mm, I don't really care about him at this point. It's just more of we still have Dre. He, he's doing good. Um, now, it would probably been a different situation had Dre not survived the shot. I feel like I would be a little more angered towards the guy, but at this point, not really. Don't really care. Ah, that was so amazing. Dre was phenomenal. The staff was phenomenal. The students even more were phenomenal. They welcomed him with open arms and Dre was bouncing and smiling and I had to leave because I probably could have stayed the whole day, but I had to leave so that I would not be overbearing. After all, he is a 17 year old teenager, so he didn't want mommy all in the way, but I just couldn't be more excited to see my baby go to school, you know? You have to realize that um, it's not traditional, not what we quite imagined for his junior year, but the fact is we were able to do it, period, point blank. We did not know our own strength until we were faced with this, so amazing, simply amazing. Rest of my day has to be fantastic after this. Thank you to Dyke's Vision for capturing it all on camera. Some friends, everything just go south sometimes. I lost my mother since I've been locked up. I lost my grandmother. If I could take back that day and do it all over again, I choose forgiveness over revenge. One minute remaining.